And hello, everybody. Well, I'm coming live to you from actually Ryan's house because he's one of my neighbors. Uh, we're um, doing the gradu congratulations as we're going to start off with to the Georgia Swarm on winning the NLL title and bringing Atlanta their first championship and third overall from the 1968 Atlanta Chiefs, the 1995 uh, Atlanta Braves, and now the 2017 Georgia Swarm. Uh, let's see if the Falcons can capitalize later this next year. Probably not, but... <laughs> yeah, he's not a Falcons fan, guys. But anyway, he's... He's my swarm guy. He's my lacrosse guy on this podcast, so I wanted to make sure to do the show with him. And, Ryan, what are your overall thoughts on how the swarm performed this season? Well, they really surprised me. They came out and just dominated everybody. They had an amazing record. They just couldn't be stopped. They went 2-0 and in the play or they went 2-0 and in the championship, won every game in the playoffs. Yeah, it was just a great season for them. And we're, we were talking, I think, after the last season ended, saying that the Swarm got knocked out in, like, the... Remember, they got knocked out in the very first round because yep. they um they won their last game of the season to get into the playoffs and got knocked out in overtime. Yep. But you said that they weren't not going to be as good that next year. And so, as I agree, they surprised me, too, because I believed with your opinion. And thankfully, they came out strong and brought Atlanta a title. So let's go ahead. And I think they want 13-5 and five this year. Plus four more wins in the playoffs after they lost to Rochester opening week. No, no, that's. I think it was better than that. Yeah, that was I, the final week. I think week. I went thirteen and one. No, I think it was thirteen and five. Let I'm me pretty sure it was thirteen and one. Thirteen, yeah, thirteen and five right here. Really? Yep. Huh. But yeah, we'll go to their to the record when last season. See, they started they started January seventh and beat Saskatchewan eighteen to ten. That ended up being the the finals. Beat Buffalo week two. Beat New England week three. And then they, by week four or week five. Yeah, and then beat... Week they, six they won. Yep. Four and oh, and then they won, They lost week, week eight. Week eight, and then they went four and one. And then... One. Won another bye week. One. Won five and one. Six, six and two. one. A few more bye weeks. Seven and one. Seven and... No, no, six, no six, six and two. two. Six and two. <laughs> six and three. And then six, seven and four. Se seven and three, my bad. Uh, seven, seven and four. four. Another bye week. Another bye week. S eight and four. Another bye week. Nine and four. Bye week. There should only be one more loss. Ten and, and four. Ten and four. Eleven and four. Eleven and four. Thirteen and four. Twelve and four. And then thir thirteen and five. Okay. Yeah, so Rochester. that's that's how it happened, and I was at the. I went to one game this year, Ryan. You can tell me about your games in just a second. But I went to one game this year. It was the final game of the year where they lost to Rochester on a buzzer beater. I guess is that what you call it? Or what would you call it? Mm. Goal beater? Um, no. Actually, probably a, not a buzzer beater. I think a last second shot. Okay. Because I think that, I, to be honest, I think that game got, I think they got kind of rigged there and that should have gone into overtime because I could see the ball was not in the goal. Before the buzzer went off, but the refs called it anyway, and they even after they reviewed it, but it was still fun. I think the refs just wanted to go home. Yeah, I saw. I there was a fun game overall, and I got to meet the players afterwards. Uh, Brian's met a bunch of them before. I got to meet all the Thompson brothers, key key players of the team. I got to meet Stats, who's probably my favorite player on the team. I don't know why, but yeah, and mm -hmm. he also plays for the Georgia for the uh, Blaze. Atlanta Blaze too, by the way. And um, yeah, it was fun. I got to meet all the announcers too. Um, the only, the only ones I didn't get the, the only ones I never got my, uh, autograph signed is, I didn't get the PA announcer, the DJ, the coaching staff, or the mascot stinger. I got everybody else's autograph. Stingers, yeah. But yeah, it was a fun experience. And Ryan, how, how have you, how have you liked the swarm coming to Georgia the last two years? How have you well, liked Well, we games? haven't had a lacrosse team in a while, and a lot of the, I know a lot of kids are just getting into lacrosse. So, uh, I liked having them this year, and I went to a couple games this season. Let's see. I went to four or five games this season, and I'm pretty sure we won all the games I went to. I went to two, I went to one in the playoff, and would have gone to the last one in the playoff if it had come down to that. Uh, and I went to three in the regular season, so I went to four games, yeah. And... I'm sure you like it because as they play local to you and you've been a big lacrosse fan all your life, so it's pretty much perfect for you, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. And all you Jeff Frank core fans out there that are Braves fans, he supported the Swarm all the way through the season and into the playoffs. So if you're a Jeff Frank core follower, I suppose you follow the Swarm just like him if you want to be. 
just like Jeff Rancor, but yeah, I don't really think there's anything else to say this episode other than congratulations to the Georgia Swarm. Um, thank you for giving Atlanta a championship. Uh, who knows? They might eventually move to Phillips Arena. I don't know if that'll happen, but that'd be cool. But yeah, <laughs> thank you guys for listening. This has been another presentation of the All Around Atlanta Sports Podcast or Atlanta Teen Sports Center, whatever you prefer to call us. I'm Blake Newsom, along with my co host, Ryan Barnett, and let me find a uh, exit song here. Thank you guys for listening, and we'll see you next time. Go ATL.